Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be reviewing the Special Edition Skulls Jolie Longline Corset by Glamorous Corset. Now, in the past, I have reviewed the Jolie Corset before, but if you remember that review, um, that was during a period where I was experiencing very rapid weight loss, and uh, I think that was a size 24 or 26, and obviously it was not fitting me properly. And so I thought that it was only fair that I do another version of the review so that I can show you an accurate uh, portrayal of what the silhouette and the fit is really supposed to look like. And since Halloween is coming up, I took the opportunity to uh, try one with the skulls on it so that we can get a little bit spoopy in here. So without further ado, here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So this is the most teeth I have ever worn. So moving on to the length and fit of this corset, the center front here is 12 and a half inches. At the princess seam, from under the bust to the top of the lap here, is 10 and a half inches. At the side seam, it is 13 and a quarter inches, and in the center back, it's a little bit longer at 13 and a half. So even though I call this a long line corset, uh, because it's about 10 and a half inches here and it's 12 and a half in the center front, it's actually one of the shortest long line corsets that I have reviewed on this channel because the, the front here is less than 13 inches. So if you have a little bit of a lower tummy that you need more support for, um, but you just don't have the length in your torso as in your actual skeletal structure to be able to sit down or move around comfortably in other long line corsets, uh, for instance, if it uh, is too high up here and it hits your bust, or when you try to sit down, it hits your lap, this might be a good alternative for you because it is a little bit shorter than some other long line corsets, but you still have uh, more of this um, covering the, the lower tummy. And for the circumferential measurements, today I'm wearing the size 22 with a small lacing gap in the back here. And when I measured it at the waistline straight out of the box, it measured true at 22 inches. The underbust here measured 29 inches. So this has a seven inch rib spring. And the hip here, which I measured horizontal parallel to the floor at the very lowest part, which this was the highest part. So I measured straight around and through the back here, that measured 33 inches. So this has a uh, 11 inch hip spring. Now, if I measured it right from the very bottom, um, obviously I'm sort of measuring air here, which is why I didn't take it from the very, very bottom. But if I sort of try to extrapolate that part of the corset, then you could theoretically fit about a 12 inch hip spring if you measure down a little bit lower. In terms of the silhouette, it is very, very gently uh, rounded through the ribs here. Although as you get closer to the waistline, that curve sort of just flattens out. And you can see that is quite a smooth transition. There's no geometric lines here. So uh, for those who are interested in um, compressing your lower ribs for stability or rib training, yes, this will bring in your lower ribs a little bit, even though it's a bit more rounded up here. And for the hips, uh, it is also gently rounded, not a really dramatic hip shelf, but it does cup up and around the actual hip bone, the aces. So let's go to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the other details of this corset close up. Okay, so here is the Jolie Skulls laid flat and for the materials, the fashion fabric is obviously this skull themed um, satin. It is not a cotton, it is a satin print. So that's pretty cool that it has a sort of sleek, um, feel to it. So if you are the type of person who you want something a little bit more versatile in that you can wear this on the outside of your clothing during Halloween, but for the rest of the year you want to stealth it underneath your clothing, then this satin will allow clothing to uh, glide nicely over top. That being said, if you wear something a little bit sheer or light colored, then you will have the designs showing through underneath. And uh, there feels to be an interlining in between the satin and the lining here. So that adds a little bit further strength there. And of course, on the inside, you have your 100% black cotton twill. Here's a close up of the glamorous corset label here. So it's just the same thing on the opposite side. 
and here is the fabric contact and cleaning instructions. And like with all glamorous corset corsets, um, the size is on both sides of each corset. So you can see a tiny little 22 on each side. And the busy pattern makes it a little bit difficult to see where the seams and the panels are, but I'll point them out to you. So this is the same pattern as the other Jolie corset. It has six panels on each side, or 12 panels total. So here's panel one, two, three makes the front four, five, and six makes the back. So you can see as per usual, panels three and four um, has that curve over the hip here. And uh, panels one and two converge down a little bit more for some control over the tummy. Panels five and six come up a little bit higher for a bit more uh, of the upper back support. And uh, they're not very curvy because obviously you have your spine there so you're not curving much in the, the waistline in the back there. And for the construction, it is constructed like all the other corsets by Glamorous Corset in that they use the welt seam method. And that's the reason that they have the interlining so that uh, on the side of the seam where you do not have the seam allowance, all the seam allowances are pointed to the back, you will still have two strong and densely woven layers for the bones to uh, settle nicely into uh, for those boning channels there. There are some poorly made corsets out there by other brands where they might make something that looks similar to this, but they will skip the interlining layer and they'll say, oh, the fashion fabric and the lining is enough. That's two layers to sandwich the bones into. But what you'll find with those poorer quality corsets is that um, because you don't have the interlining, the bones will start uh, poking out through the fashion fabric eventually. So that's the difference. And although it's difficult to see in this corset, I do feel the presence of a waist tape. So it is your standard waist tape, um, one inch wide, starting from the center front here and going back to at least panel six there. Um, it's invisibly stitched between the layers here and uh, reinforced with the stitching at the boning channels and the seams there. The binding is made from matching strips of the skull themed satin. It's machine stitched on both the outside and the inside. On the outside you can see that it is stitched in the ditch for a really clean finish. And on the inside here you can see that uh, little lip, that top stitch right there. And there are six garter tabs in this corset, three on each side. The modesty panel in the back of this corset is about five and a half inches wide, so that will cover a lacing gap of about four inches total. Um, and so you should keep that in mind if you want to buy this corset in a size where uh, the modesty panel covers the entire um, lacing gap. So it is uh, unstiffened, unboned, and it's finished in the same skull fabric here and uh, in the same black cotton lining there. It is attached to one side of the corset with a simple um, straight stitch. So if you do not like modesty panels, you can just take a seam ripper and pull that out if you prefer. And additionally, there is a half inch wide modesty placket uh, extending out from the knob side of the busk here, finished in the same skulls themed satin. The busk in this corset is 11 inches long and it has five loops and pins with the last two a little bit closer together so you have a little bit more uh, support over the tummy here and it is a half inch wide busk on each side. It is not anchored into a white bone, it's actually anchored into a stainless steel bone. How I know this is by taking a little sneaky peek in the loops here and I see that the bone is silver instead of uh, covered in the white nylon dipping. And another way to tell is to use your magnet. And stainless steel bones have a little bit less iron content in them. Uh, that's how it kind of resists rusting. It has a little bit of iron content, but not quite as much. And so it will be less magnetic. But stainless steel busks tend to be a little bit more rigid compared to your standard flexible busk um, in the white bone. So the center front here, even though it doesn't have an adjacent uh, uh, steel bone that is reinforcing the front here, it is still relatively more rigid. Likewise, the bones in the back are made from quarter inch wide stainless steel boning. So even though they are on the narrow side, they are relatively more rigid compared to the white uh, flat steel boning. And speaking of bones, let's turn this to the side. There are a total of 12 bones in this corset, double boned on the seams here. So uh, on the seams, these are quarter inch wide spiral steel bones. And you can see that these 
do more strongly attract my magnet. And so you can see here two, four, six, eight, ten, and in the back here, twelve for the flat steels. Double that for the other side, that's how you get twenty-four. Here's a close-up of the grommets. So there are a total of 28 of them, 14 on each side. They are size double zero, finished in silver with a small flange around them. And they are spaced a bit more than an inch apart, maybe about uh, one and a quarter inches apart, especially here above the waistline here. And I don't see them uh, coming out. I don't see a lot of damage. There are a couple of places where the satin here, because the satin was printed, um, the dye doesn't go like right through all layers, right? Like it's this is not like um, black thread while that is white thread. So you will see a little bit of where the satin runs from where the grommet was pierced. And uh, you do see that, especially around the waistline where there's the most tension, the grommets will want to move slightly towards that center back area there. But this bone is holding the grommets fast, so these grommets should not rip out because the, the bone here is uh, preventing the grommets from pulling any more in this direction and ripping the fabric over here. So, And you can see the grommets on the underside. So you can see that uh, any of the runs in the satin was just an aesthetic issue. It was not a structural issue because the strength fabric underneath is holding fast and you don't see any wear or tearing or damage around the cotton lining here. So the grommets, um, the washers are a little bit larger than the top hat part of the corset. Uh, which should be the case because this is what's holding more of the tension. If the washer is too small, then the grommet will pop out. But as long as these are holding fast, then it should stay into the fabric. And there are, um, most of these have rolled okay. There are a couple of splits here and there, but because of the laces here, the these are abrasion resistant uh, workhorse style laces, they don't tend to catch and, uh, and rip very easily, so uh, they don't catch on any little splits there. And as per the usual with Glamorous Corset Laces, there is a ton of lacing that comes in this corset, very, very long, enough to open the lacing gap a little bit more than 11 inches here. Now, again, that is not to say that I recommend getting uh, a corset that's 11 inches smaller than your natural waist, because uh, if you just put over the modesty panel here, um, it really only covers about four to five inches um, so you should be able to at least cinch down to about that much at the absolute. But yeah, there is a lot of lacing in here, so you are not going to have any problem getting in and out of this corset. The Jolie corset is available in black cotton, beige cotton, also black mesh, and the satin skull fabric as you see here. Um, normally the prices start at $84, but for this one, because it's special and limited edition, uh, this is $99 US. And it's available in closed waist sizes 18 inches up to 40 inches. And this concludes my review of the Jolie Skulls Corset by Glamorous Corset. I hope you enjoyed this and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or uh, other courses on Glamorous Corset, feel free to leave your uh, comment down below. I'd be happy to get back to you and answer your questions. And if you own this corset or uh, a different Jolie corset, doesn't matter the, the fabric or the colorway, um, leave your comment down below and let us know how you like it, what you think of it, how it fits you, and uh, I'm sure many other people would be curious to know your thoughts. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you all next week for another video. Bye!